Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Deep Understanding of Research Papers. Today in this tutorial I am going to explain a new, new paper called uh, Towards End to End Code Switching Speech Recognition. So basically this paper talks about uh, code switching or code mixing, we will uh, we'll see that in a moment what that means. And this paper is by uh, these authors and uh, these authors are from uh, Didi Chasing, a Chinese uh, company. And uh, the tutorial is going to cover the uh, overview of the paper. Uh, then we will see some of the end to end frameworks used for speech recognition and we will just give some introduction about uh, those systems. Then we will see the proposed approach of this paper like how, how they are trying to solve this code switching problem uh, in speech recognition. Then we will see some experiment and uh, finally we will see some results. So as I said the code switching uh, sometimes also people call it as a code mixing. So it's about uh, let's say you are speaking uh, if you uh, if you are in India or uh, some other countries like China and other countries also like uh, when people are speaking one language they uh, try to mix another language. So basically uh, let's say uh, uh, you are speaking uh, Hindi right. So Hindi is one of the is a very well known language in India and uh, when you are speaking Hindi you might add uh, some English words or you might speak some English sentences also in between which commonly happens in India um, not only just in not only just in the like almost all the languages of uh, India they mix other languages like English most of the time. So so this is one biggest problem because uh, let's say you train a speech recognition model uh, trained only on Hindi uh, and if you suddenly mix uh, English uh, the system will get confused and you no, don't know what to do right. So these are some problems and uh, people have been trying to solve this kind of uh, code switching problem from long time and uh, uh, this is a very important field I would say I mean uh, it may not be useful for uh, 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 people who speak only English like for example American English or uh, British and American they don't mix other languages but uh, like countries like India and China so the, there the case is uh, most of the time people mix the uh, two different or three different three three or more different languages. So how to handle those things uh, and uh, this paper is one step towards how to solve these set of problems and uh, specifically they have taken uh, Mandarin and uh, English code switching right. So this is some data set is uh, I will explain I will show you the data I will uh, give introduction about the data set and uh, that data set is mainly designed for this. So that data set about, uh, about Mandarin and English uh, code mixing and how do you build effective uh, speech recognition model using uh, for these sort of scenarios right. So that is called code mixing also known as code switching uh, and uh, that is what uh, these guys are trying to tackle and uh, for this problem uh, they are trying to use uh, the CTC attention or some, sometimes also known as uh, multitask learning framework where uh, this is like one of the uh, uh, at that point of time it was like the best uh, speech recognition model where people try to comply uh, loss uh, CTC loss plus attention loss and uh, they showed like using this sort of framework like adding these two losses and to training the model it actually gives you a little bit better in performance compared to training only CTC or training only attention based models. Uh, we will see how that is used and uh, also they study how this study the effect of uh, uh, this this uh, basically st they study the effect of this code switching and also uh, they try to add uh, for this MTL framework they try to add something called LID, LID is nothing but language identification. Uh, since they have a label for language ID so they try to uh, detect the language also during training and uh, this is sort of acts as one more loss which is basically gets added to the other losses. Let us call this as CTC, uh, let us call this as ill attention and you get uh, one more loss which is from LID right. So this is LID is also one task this system has to solve. So by doing that uh, by trying to solve all these tasks together system will become much much robust and gives you better performance uh, compared to the baselines and uh, we will see those numbers and uh, as, I as I show here they get mixed error rate of 34.24. Uh, you think of it as uh, word error rate also you can like word error rate but it is a new name called mixed error rate even I saw it first time. So this mixed error rate is around 34.24 they do not have any other baselines uh, we will we'll see the table actually they uh, this is sort of. Uh, they are not comparing with any old uh, techniques or anything. So we will see those things in the coming slides. And uh, this is about the overview of the paper. 
and uh, i would like to explain uh, some few uh, some of the end to end frameworks which are already available like people have invented over the years these are recent technologies only like ctc based model i must have heard of deep speech model this that is nothing but uh, uh, ctc based model and if you have heard of las listen attendance spell that is based on las uh, attention based model so we'll give a brief uh, introduction about these two systems and then we'll uh, go to the actual proposed approach of this paper so ctc as i said ctc uh, ctc is basically the idea of ctc is to uh, maximize this term i want to know uh, what is the i want to maximize the probability of uh, ground truth hypothesis y which is nothing but the text given the input feature a uh, x right and uh, this you can do it uh, uh, the, th this you can do it by using this formula so basically this phi is a sort of a mapping function mapping uh, which takes uh, uh, let's say l dimensional uh, or uh, l dimensional uh, text l dimension text means uh, a text with dimension uh, text with length l and converts into a text uh, with dimension t and the dimension t is nothing but the dimension of the audio right features basically so uh, basically the idea is to uh, train the this system does not need any alignment prior alignment before you the system figure out figures out automatically the alignment between the input audio and uh, the text and that's a very nice thing and once that once that system figures out that alignment basically it does it through uh, sort of dynamic programming way using forward backward algorithm and uh, that is a more advantage of this system where you where you don't need any prior alignment between the audio and uh, text right uh, and uh, as i said let me just uh, briefly explain how that's uh, how things are working like let's say you want uh, you want to predict uh, uh, Y given X, Y is nothing but the text. You can say uh, whatever the text people say, whatever the text in the audio. This is the X feature. So you can say I get a pi, which is basically uh, it's actually coming from a function mapping of Y uh, Y cap, which is basically of length uh, L, and uh, I just use this probability of pi given X instead of Y given X because now the length of pi and length of X are same. Now I want to maximize this term. and uh, one more uh, important uh, um, important property of ctc is that uh, this there has something called conditional independency how are the outputs so basically this boils down to product of class conditionals i could say pi t goes from 1 to uh, capital t probability of pi t given xt so what you can see here is this is not like any markov chain assumption where the current time uh, prediction or current prediction of pi or pi t which is basically simple prediction at time t does not depend on any other times these are like this is called class condition uh, this is called conditional independence assumption which is assumed in uh, ctc and this is the thing i want to maximize now uh, i don't want to maximize only for one sentence i want to maximize for all the other sentences like n goes from 1 uh, to n number of so this is the thing i want to maximize why given x x is nothing but the full data and y is also the full labels and instead of maximizing this term you can minimize the negative of the log uh, uh, negative of the log of this term so i could say uh, ln of uh, p of y given x and uh, that is my ctc loss and this is one term it's called this is uh, something similar to as you can if you remember if you if you use hmm so this is nothing but a, a fear forward backward algorithm so this is all about ctc basically you given a this what i am explaining is only the last function but the actual architecture could be a simple lstm right so that's how it works so this is the connection with temporal classification loss so now let's see the um, attention based model also so in the attention based model the idea is uh, instead of creating in uh, uh, instead of learning uh, uh, alignment uh, instead of learning an alignment between input output using ctc we uh, we learn it through uh, something called attention model so attention and alignment both are same uh, people back in 90s used to call this uh, as alignment uh, now they know this people call it as attention uh, they are not uh, completely different but some of they are similar so the idea of attention model is to take uh, one lst use an lstm to uh, feed your uh, audio f audio features let's say you have audio sequence you get sequence of feature you feed those features into an lstm and those that uh, those that lstm will process the sequence of features and it generates some high level features which are which you can call it as h or uh, i can call it as h1 h2 and so on and let's say hl because the dimension of l is less than dimension of t because we do subsampling and uh, we use attention and uh, attention will help us in predicting uh, time uh, predicting 
characters or subwords at a time t uh, considering uh, weighted average uh, considering the context vector which is actually a sort of weighted average of uh, uh, all the input vectors input hidden vectors and those weights are nothing but retention weights which we have generated through some sort of neural network right it's as simple as that so this is just a small equation you can think so h is nothing but high level representation of your input audio which can be uh, the dimension of dimension in the sense the length of h could be less than uh, x depending on the system if you are using you may be using uh, the subsampling then the length of l h will be lesser than x and as i said retention decoder basically takes the h and uh, uh, feed it through uh, attention model which is basically uh, uh, you can think of it as key value pair where key is your uh, previous prediction and uh, sorry query is the previous prediction key is your in h and value is just weighted average of uh, weighted average of uh, uh, weighted average of your input sequence input uh, hidden representations and uh, so those attentions are generated by small field forward neural network and uh, this is simple i mean if you want to in more detail you can just uh, look in a paper called uh, listen attend and spill uh, it actually gives you the full in, uh, full uh, explanation of uh, what's happening in this attention based encoder decoder model so let's go to the actual proposed approach of this paper so as i said this paper sort of uh, uh, does the job uh, using something called uh, multitask learning way so the multitask learning what i am saying that is because if you remember uh, this attention decoder it actually looks like uh, the attention model right attention model which basically the model which we saw in the previous slide attention model is uh, it's the the um, uh, sequence to sequence model right and the ctc as we saw in the previous to previous slide is basically a deep speech model right so let's call uh, the so, so the, let's uh, we will see the last function before uh, last functions but this is one model this is another model if you consider it separately and this is some lid model so what's what what these guys are trying to do is they are using a shared encoder which is basically some sequence of some, some let's say stacked lstm which takes sequence of speech feature and generates some hidden representations right now this hidden representation goes to three different heads so when i say head this is one decoder which could be a simple lstm and let's assume the loss which generates is l attention and assume uh, the same each hidden representation will also go to another other head named ctc which actually has a loss lctc and uh, we also use these hidden representations and assume okay each hidden representation is labeled and we get uh, l lid right so now we have three different uh, losses now how do we combine all these losses and during back propagation we update the weights of uh, the shared encoder during training if we update the weights of it using all the three so we can't uh, say okay i will first train this model update the mo update the thing then i will say this i will train this model then i will say this model that is completely wrong because once you train attention uh, encoder model using uh, uh, like this path then if you try to train um, this that one with ctc then it will forget the previous weights so these are these are called catastrophic forgetting and there is a complete field uh, complete field by itself like how to uh, train models uh, to uh, take care of this uh, catastrophic forgetting right uh, we will not go into that uh, uh, right now we'll just assume we have multitask setting uh, multitask learning setup it's just it just takes all these three losses somehow combines them and uh, gives you one one loss which can be propagated through or oh, the uh, shared encoder so that is uh, that's what is called L lmtl which is basically the multitask learning loss the, each loss is weighted by some parameter lambda uh, uh, based on its uh, uh, name you can see uh, the l attention loss is weighted by l lambda attention then lambda ctc and then lambda lid right so these losses are uh, add these losses are added with a weighting and then added to lmtl that is a single loss which going to be propagated and trained this model with those loss right that's the whole approach this is a, that's all it is the full algorithm is simple you have a encoder which is basically your lstm this is lstm right uh, maybe four layer lstm let's say right four layer by lstm lstm whatever this lstm has three different decoders each decoder has its own advantage because this attention decoder gives you the attention map which actually sh people have shown that using this attention decoder you get better performance compared to ctc but it has it, its own disadvantages because it won't work in noisy environment and if the audio length is very long this won't work to boost up that you have a ctc loss which is basically gives you some sort of prior alignment before uh, 
prior alignment itself which is done using uh, dynamic programming which actually boosts up the attention model because attention model is also trying to find alignment and LID is uh, basically sort of augmented the task uh, the system has to solve during training and that actually finds out some features which are going to be helpful to improve the performance of the system right so that is the whole idea of this uh, paper that's all it is like simple I hope you guys understood so let's go to the experiments directly. Uh, basically, they have used this uh, data set called CM, uh, Southeast Asia Mandarin English data set, uh, which actually, uh, I don't know how the data set looks. Uh, I, don't, I don't have the data, but I hope that's uh, something like uh, code mixed data, where you have uh, labels for each word or each, uh, yeah, maybe each word, and all the, also the audio. And, uh, and, uh, so, and uh, CM, uh, his data is around 66 hours, and these are the statistics. Uh, there are totally 137 speakers and duration is, uh, the train data set duration is 59 and in the dev we keeps 9 speaker and test 9 speaker and uh, these are the stats and utterances as you can see here, this is the data set. Now uh, the architecture is basically follows like this, they have first two CNNs, say convolution layers and then followed by four Bayesian GRU layers and uh, the each uh, GRU layer has uh, 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 as uh, 256 uh, hidden vectors or uh, hidden uh, neurons in each direction so totally it's 512 so uh, they also interleave uh, two times pulling layers uh, just to reduce the direction sorry reduce uh, reduce the dimension uh, time uh, uh, basically to reduce the length length of the uh, feature map feature uh, sequence so and uh, the decoder has one gru layer uh, with uh, 256 hidden neurons and uh, output is basically uh, 230, uh, 2376 Chinese characters and one unknown character and one start and end so in token. So also uh, these are just characters but also they have used uh, subwords also, we will see those also. Uh, subwords are actually generated using byte pair encoding using uh, Google standard sentence piece toolkit and uh, you can use sentence piece toolkit, uh, sent you can use subwords also instead of uh, character because usually people show subwords actually have better performance than characters, we will see those results also in coming slides. And uh, during training they have used uh, schedule sampling because it's uh, uh, during uh, decoding is LSTM right. So schedule sampling actually helps in uh, performance as uh, Shobinji showed in his paper and uh, they use label smoothing also. And uh, for optimization they have used Adam optimizer with gradient clipping and uh, they uh, initialize the weights uh, using some uh, using randomly initialize the weights drawn from uh, the random values are drawn from isotropic Gaussian distribution uh, with variance of this much and learning rate is uh, decayed from this much during training I think after every epoch. So, uh, and also they have to do the decoding using LSTM, uh, sorry, you do using a language model. So, whether they use RNN language model, it's very easy to integrate using uh, cold fusion technique or uh, diffusion technique during training of the hybrid CTC model itself. And uh, RNN LSTM is basically two LSTM layer with so many hidden units, right? So, coming to the results, uh, as I said, uh, they have conducted a lot of experiments, but there are no baseline results. So they measure something called MER, which is called the mixed error rate. Mixed error rate. So uh, this table actually shows the mixed error rate for uh, the model. But model is trained on uh, may trained on to train to predict characters characters, not subwords. So if you use a characters prediction and uh, lambda, if lambda is uh, basically uh, point to varying lambda is like this then you get this is the performance and the best is uh, lambda equal to 0.8 right and uh, again the MER on development data set for the CME model but uh, mixed mixed with uh, subwords also mixed 200 means uh, 200 subwords are mixed mixed uh, 500 means 500 subwords are mixed so as you can see here uh, you get little bit better performance compared to this uh, this uh, this one you get little bit better performance here like 37 percent using only attention and CTC Remember, we, do, we have not added LID here. So if you add LID, this that becomes the current approach of the paper. Uh, that is what is here. So this is uh, three different uh, three different uh, LID, uh, lambda values which are added here. And as you can see, LID, LID is, uh, is actually obtained uh, 
Yes, L attention is fixed point eight. L C T C is based on the uh, uh, sorry lambda C T C is based on uh, lambda L A D. So if you keep lambda L A D as zero point one, then lambda C T C becomes zero point one. So varying that, and uh, what is the result? So as you can see, uh, this is the old model, old uh, algorithm where where they, where, they you do, where you don't use L A D, but if you use L A D, uh, then you get uh, the best best result uh, with M T L. Basically, adding L A D plus um, uh, multitask learning with uh, for uh, lambda LED of uh, 0 0.1, right? That's the thing. And then you can also improve your uh, model performance by adding something called uh, different types of decode, de decoding strategies. So these are basically decode one is basically what they say is uh, the decode one uh, is basically uh, sort of like uh, removing or uh, rejecting uh, some of the subwords which are not actually making the words after decoding that is decode one and uh, decode two is basically rejecting those subwords which are not going to make any uh, word uh, after decoding so this is sorry this is during decoding this is during decoding and this is after decoding and uh, lad mtl this actually gives you the state uh, the best like 34.24 which was uh, showed in the introduction so this is the currently uh, this is currently the best uh, after all these experiments and uh, that's all for this video thank you so much for watching this tutorial uh, if you like this tutorial please give a thumbs up and uh, if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe for more video content thank you